good evening. My name is Tony McDowell and I'm the principal here at Phoenix Academy. I'm delighted you're considering choosing Phoenix as a secondary school for your child. I'm going to talk to you about two things. Firstly, our value and secondly, who we are. So at Phoenix Academy, we believe in two key things. One, that students should receive a high quality, knowledge rich curriculum that exposes them to the best that has been thought and said. Our knowledge rich curriculum follows our trust textbook, which in itself is written by outstanding subject teachers who have achieved outstanding results with pupils in their care at both GCSE and at A-level. So expert teachers writing curriculum for our students. Um, this is a traditional education that focuses on the development of knowledge and is a five year curriculum. So it prepares students for learning from the very beginning when they start in year seven. This will mean that students reduce the amount of screen time, because as we know, over the last few years, student, or over the last year in particular, students have spent a considerable amount of time accessing laptops and mobile phones. So our trust textbook um, and the resources we produce will mean that they limit the amount of time they spend. Secondly, we believe that students should develop through adventure learning, debating and public speaking. This enables students to develop the softer skills that often industries and workplace will say students are now lacking these days. So students leave Phoenix Academy with the knowledge to be successful and the softer skills they need to be able to function in the workplace uh, and in higher education. I'm proud to be principal at Phoenix Academy. In 2018, we were the most improved school in England. Um, and we have worked incredibly hard over the last few years to improve our curriculum, the quality of teaching and the culture of the school. Um, we also boast a calm and personal learning environment. In 2019, the offset inspection graded the school good in all categories and the inspectors were impressed by our uh, calmness and the behaviour of students in the school. Uh, the offset inspectors commented on the, the calmness and personal environment in the school. Uh, they were incredibly impressed by the behaviour of our students and the conduct of our students during this time. Um, we also offer an outstanding extracurricular opportunities, generously funded by Future Academies Charity, provides students with an outstanding opportunity to be able to access uh, adventure learning. And students at Phoenix over the last few years have been able to go to adventure learning trips to Wales, have been able to embark on a number of Duke of Edinburgh experiences and have had talks from industry professionals and sports professionals from a range uh, of different industries. So what can you expect if you send your child to Phoenix Academy? You can expect a bespoke, outstanding educational enrichment offer. You can expect your child to be known as an individual and to be developed both personally and academically. And with a school with fewer than 500 students, you can also expect a robust transition programme that supports students in that challenging transitional time from primary to secondary school. And as I said, during the last three years, we have improved GCSE results year on year. And you can see that. And if you read our Ofsted report, you will see that. Um, I'm going to hand over to Mr. Lamboy, uh, who's my assistant head, who's in charge of Key Stage 3, who's going to talk about our enrichment offer um, and how we support students during that transition from primary to secondary. Thank you very much, Mr. McDowell. Choosing a secondary school can be quite challenging given the situation that we've all experienced with the pandemic, it becomes even harder. Hopefully, by the end of today, you'll leave here with that choice being made a little bit easier. I remember speaking to a student the other day about why she and her family chose Phoenix Academy. And she said to me a few things, and that's what I want to talk about today. Her overall experience at Phoenix Academy. Yes, she received that excellent teaching day in, day out from teachers who were experts in their subjects, delivering a rigorous and engaging curriculum. But it was also the extra things, the things that were slightly outside of the classroom that provided her an enriching experience. And that was through our enrichment program. All students at Phoenix Academy from year seven through to year 13 have access to a wide range of extracurricular activities, both during the school day at lunch and after school as well. And these cater to the different interests students may have. We have football club, basketball club, rugby club, coding club, debate club, all of which have their own competitive teams which, which compete in tournaments against other schools. 
it doesn't stop there. As year sevens, you will have the chance to go on trips inside and outside of London as part of our adventure learning offer to explore the vast outdoors. For example, when I was head of year seven, I took my year sevens on a residential trip to Wales where we camped outside. We cooked our own breakfast, we cooked our own dinner, we went on hikes, we did some canoeing. Some of our students even scaled their nevis, the highest mountain in the British Isles. I think given the amount of time spent at home over the past year behind the laptops and other devices and not socialising with their peers, it's important that you send your child to a school which is going to provide them with a rich opportunity to interact with others and exercise every single day for their mental and physical well-being. Now, you may have heard that Phoenix Academy is one of the strictest schools in the borough. Discipline does have its place. We do have clear rules, systems which are robust and high expectations. But at the same time, we're also a very nurturing, rewarding and supportive school. We believe in celebrating success and recognise the students that do well. Do well academically, but also for those who contribute to the wider school life. So if you help someone in school, that deserves recognition. If you put forth the effort to be the best you can be, that deserves recognition. That's why every single week, every half term and every term, we hold celebration assemblies where students are given prizes such as certificates, meaningful gift vouchers and special awards for stars of the week. Through our house system, students can even have lunch with the head teacher. And they get to choose the menu. That's just the beginning. There is so much more. And like Mr McDowell said, that's why we want you to come here so you can see it for yourself. We're also very supportive. We know it can be such a daunting experience for young people when they come to secondary school. Such a tough transition, but that's why, that's why in the first week we have an induction program for year six is coming into year seven where they can acclimatize to school. So they're ready for when everyone else comes in. So it's not such a scary experience. That's why from period one to six, every student has a point of contact, someone that they can talk to. An adult, be it the head of year, the pastoral support manager, or any member of staff. We have a support buddy system where they get mentoring from students in our school in the older year groups. And of course, we have the year team meetings every single week where we get to discuss your child, thinking about their strengths and how we can really push them and make sure that they strive to be the best that they can be. There's more. That's why we want you to come to Phoenix so you can see it for yourself and have that fruitful conversation with us and our students. When your child leaves every day, we want them to feel exhausted with a smile on their face. Happy because they have had an excellent series of lessons rooted in excellent teaching and an enriching day. Thank you very much, Mr McDowell. Thank you. If you choose to send your child to, future, uh, to Phoenix Academy, you are joining us at a very exciting time. We're in the process of submit, submitting planning permission for a brand new state-of-the-art school that will be built on the existing school site. This will involve new sports facilities, state-of-the-art classrooms, an amphitheatre for drama and music productions, um, and a library for students to study before and after school to complete homework or research projects they may be completing. As a parent of a year eight child myself, I understand what a difficult decision, and how stressful this time may be. Uh, I think it's really important as a parent, you have all the knowledge to hand that you need. So I would read for our Ofsted report and that will give you a real sense of the school, where we are, where our strengths are. However, I would say to you the best way, the absolute best way to experience Phoenix Academy is to come and have a tour. 
we're the only school in the local area who's actually offering tours at this time. This will give you a great opportunity to come to the school and have a look around and see what it would be like for the day in the life of a Phoenix student. You'll get a tour of the school, you'll get to see engaging and enriching lessons around school, and you'll also get a sense of how you as a student or, or you as a parent, how your child would fit in at this school. Uh, we're offering tours tomorrow and Friday. Uh, we have been inundated by quite a few requests, and um, so there are only a few time slots available. So if you are interested, please contact the school directly so that I can show you around. But if you choose to send your child to Phoenix, what you will receive is an outstanding engaging curriculum, a bespoke educational enrichment offer. So please book a tour so that I can show you around. We're now going to take some questions. Um, as it's a live event, you can't comment, but what you can do is put comments in the, the comment section so I'm able to respond to some of the questions. Uh, I tried to, and Mr. Lamois tried to address that was sent before, um, and I hope we've done that. But if we haven't, please type your questions and then uh, I'll try and respond. OK, good. That's a really good question so far. So uh, the first question I've received is from a parent asking, what does the school day normally look like? So uh, the school day starts at 8.25. We ask students to arrive from 8 o'clock. Uh, we do offer a free breakfast because that gives students a really good opportunity to start the day. So they can have breakfast, they can sit down and do their homework with their peers and they can get set up for the day ahead. Uh, that gives them a really good chance, um, as I say, to sort of just be prepared for their learning and what they're going to go through for that day. Um, then they have two lessons, then they'll have break time, they'll then have a tutor period. Uh, key stage three, the tutor period involves uh, age reading, so students will be in reading groups by their reading ability, uh, and that's a really important part to develop their reading, their literacy and their understanding. Uh, they'll then have two more lessons, lunchtime, um, and then they will have two more lessons and then after school. Uh, we do have an enrichment offer, so year seven will normally have their compulsory enrichment day Monday after school, uh, but there are also opportunities for other clubs each day uh, and the library is open after school. Uh, interesting question about school menu. Uh, school menus, we have uh, an extensive range of food, very different to primary school. We normally have uh, a, a meat offer, a vegetarian offer, uh, and there's a range of sandwiches and, and salad and so forth for students. So quite a wide range of choice. Uh, parents can top up students' accounts by parent pay. This makes it uh, a really safe and effective way for parents to monitor uh, what your child is eating each day uh, and just to ensure they don't maybe go to the shops and, and, and buy you know, junk food. So they have a nutritious, healthy meal each day. Um, if you have any more questions, please post them in the chat. OK, uh, really good question about transition. I know Mr Lamboy touched on this. So in terms of transition, we understand that moving from from primary to secondary school is a really, really big step. Uh, in, in primary school, you traditionally stay in the same classroom, generally taught by the same teacher. Uh, in secondary school, it could involve you being taught by six different teachers in six different rooms across the school. So we know that's quite a big change um, for students. So what we do for year seven is we offer a number of transition days. So uh, if your child uh, is quite vulnerable and really worried and really anxious about starting secondary school, we have uh, an extended induction offer uh, of about five or six days that happen over the summer term. So we'll be in contact with your child's primary school, head teacher and SENCO, and we will talk about this, this really in-depth enrichment uh, and uh, transition programme where students will spend five or six days in the academy getting to know key members of staff, getting to know our key routines and just having a known adult for when they start in September, they can go, right, I can go and speak to uh, teacher Rex, who's really going to look after me and support me during this time. Um, for, for students, we, we also have every student will receive uh, an interview and this was outlined in your pack. You'll receive an interview from a senior member of staff. So either myself uh, or one of my assistant heads or uh, Miss Copeland, who's the SENCO, we will meet with you and your child uh, on a Saturday in June and we will just talk through the school, the expectations, the rules, and we'll be able to answer any of your individual questions that you may have. 
Um, then when September comes, we will have specific one day uh, induction just for year seven. So it's only year seven on site. They'll get a tour around school. They'll get to meet lots of their teachers and they'll actually get to see what, what the day is like. Uh, and then the rest of the students will come back to school. Um, we normally for the first term let year seven go to lunch slightly earlier than other students. Uh, just because it's a very different system for them. Uh, sometimes they struggle a little bit with uh, you know, the range and choice of food that's available. So uh, it's, it's really important that they get a sense of what it's like. So we give them a bit of time uh, in, in the canteen first and then they um, get to experience that themselves. So they can pick their lunch, they sit in their year seven designated area um, so that they can be looked after. We do also have a transition day, uh, which is planned for July. We're hoping it will go ahead. Um, and that will be a full day experience of the academy. It will give students the opportunity to come in, to meet their head of year, to meet their tutor uh, and to be in their tutor group and actually experience lessons uh, before they return. This We find this really sets students at ease, gets them really used to the academy uh, and they are ready to go when it comes to September. Uh, yeah, good question about clubs. Uh, we do have a number of clubs that are available. Uh, I know Mr Lamboy touched on this, so the clubs that we do have uh, quite a wide range. So each day after school, there's a range of clubs available, uh, football, basketball, coding club, debating club. Uh, there's a number of different clubs that are run in the library at the moment, uh, and we're also offering research projects for students in the library. Um, just if students have a key area of interest, so teachers from each, each subject area have created a bank uh, of research tasks uh, that we encourage students to engage in to read around the subject. So if they're particularly passionate about maths or history, um, there are projects in there to really extend their knowledge um, beyond what's in the curriculum and really sort of feed their hunger for that subject. Uh, a good question also about transitional support when students are here. Uh, we do have heads of year, uh, we do have pastoral member to support uh, each year group. Uh, and each student will also have uh, a form tutor uh, who will look after them. So they generally, the first port of call would be to the form tutor and the year group will also be there to try and support your student. So um, if you have any concerns, that's the person to go to. Um, also around the school building, we know that you know, we're quite a, a reasonably big site and that is quite difficult for students to sometimes navigate the school site. Um, so we do have trusted adults around that will show students. But part of our transition program is when they come in July for their transition day or year seven induction day, they do get a tour around the school building so they will know. When they come in September and they're the only year group in the school, their form tutor will give them an induction where they'll have a whole day at the school just year seven and they'll actually be walked around the site and the teacher will walk them around, their tutor will say to them, this room is where you're going to have English with uh, you know, with Mr. Pearson. This room is where you're going to have citizenship with Mr. Lamboy. This room is where you're going to have history with Mr. Limovich and just show them around so they actually get a walk of the school site and they really understand. That will happen in July, but it will happen again in September when they have their timetable. Uh, good question about uh, EXCP and SEN needs. Um, during your induction interview in June, we ask that you flag any concerns you might have. So if your child has special education needs but doesn't have an education and healthcare plan, it's really important that you flag any of the concerns. Uh, and it's also important that you let us know any support that's in place. We are in contact with many different primary schools um, and we're in contact with head teachers and also the SENCOs at those primary schools. So we should be able to transfer that information across uh, and should be able to provide that support from September. But it's always worth just checking that that information hasn't been lost in translation uh, and that's passed across to the school. What we want is students to make a great start in, in year seven and set them up for five to seven years of successful learning at the academy. And that's really important that you share those concerns. Um, and as I said, if you flag those from early, uh, we will be able to uh, engage your child in a much more lengthier um, uh, bespoke induction program to support them in transition to secondary school. Oh, a really good question there. How do we book tours? Uh, if you email Miss Hyatt directly, uh, her email and contacts were on uh, emails that were sent to you regarding this event. Um, and they're also on the letter. Please just email Miss Hyatt uh, directly and we'll try and arrange a time to fit you in. Uh, we are almost booked up for Thursday. There are some slots available for Friday, but if you email Miss Hyatt your availability, uh, we will try and arrange a tour for you. 
Um, and, and just in terms of the tours, uh, the tour will work. You'll be met at reception by one of our student ambassadors. They will give you a tour around the school, not a member of senior leadership team. I think it's really important that you and your child get to experience the school as a student and you actually ask our students, what is it like to be a student at Phoenix Academy? That is really, really important. Uh, and that's why we ask our student ambassadors. Besides, the student ambassadors are much better. Uh, you know, they'll sell the school way better than what I can. So it's it's really important that um, you know you come along to tours, and the student ambassadors will take you around. They'll take you to different subjects. If you're interested in seeing uh, an English lesson or a history lesson, or you want to see a PE or an art or a music lesson, please just ask them, uh, and they'll ensure they include that in the tour. Uh, at the end of the tour, you'll have an opportunity to meet me and ask me any questions. You'll also have an opportunity to um, meet Mr. Lamboy and ask him any questions. Um, and I really look forward to meeting you. A really good question about academic and curriculum. Uh, how will you know if your child is setting in well to academic life? Um, weekly, uh, we have meetings and, and we discuss each student. We discuss how students are performing, uh, where their areas of development are, where their strengths are, and how we can just challenge them to be even better and improve. Each week, you will receive an email called a progress picture. Now, the progress picture will highlight a number of things um, regarding your students. So highlight how, they, how they've started the academic year, um, how they're performing academically, how many reward points, behaviour points, their attendance, their punctuality. It gives you a really good sense uh, of how your child settled. We also have uh, a year seven set in evening or meet the tutor team evening, which happens in late September, which just gives you an opportunity to meet your, your uh, child's tutor and your head of year. Um, and just to ask questions about how we're doing, look at the curriculum uh, and, and see how your child uh, is, is managing at secondary school. And I think that's really important to, to have that close connection. This is one of the, the things that is fantastic about Phoenix, uh, amongst many other things that we're fantastic at. Being a smaller school with, with fewer than 500 students, uh, it's really easy to get in contact with people. And many of you who live in the local area will see me on duty on the school gate every day after school, or see me on duty in Bloomfontaine Road. Uh, I'm often spoken to by parents and that's the whole point of me being there so that you can come and ask me. Uh, Mr Lamboy is always on duty as well, so you're more than welcome to approach us. Uh, but as I say, you'll, you'll know the key contact people will be form tutor, head of year uh, and pastoral support officer for your child year group. Uh, just in terms of key stage three curriculum, good question about what does the key stage three curriculum look like? Key stage three curriculum, uh, you will study uh, PE, music, art, uh, English, history, geography uh, and science. Those are the, the, the key lessons that students will study uh, and if students want to engage in, in some of our extra curricula, we do say that Monday you have to, you don't have any choice, you have to engage in, in Monday's uh, extra curricula offer, uh, which means the school day on Monday goes on to four o'clock, uh, but there are other opportunities for students to engage in extra curricular activities um, throughout the school day. Um, we do have uh, a, a sort of GCSE program, but that is offered halfway through year nine uh, for a start in year 10. So just in terms of transition for GCSE, um, as I said, our knowledge rich curriculum uh, is a five year model. It starts in year seven. It gives students the knowledge needed to be successful uh, and prepares them with the knowledge they need for GCSE. Uh, and that is, is aggregated and it, it challenges students each time. It's, it's a very rigorous academic curriculum because we know that that's what students need to be successful in life. Uh, and that prepares students for GCSEs that they choose in year nine uh, and they go on in study uh, in year 10 and year 11. Uh, and it's the same for, for A levels if students wish to come back to sixth form. As I said, when students start here, we want every student to come back uh, in sixth form uh, and spend seven years with us. The GCSE curriculum prepares students for uh, the A-levels that we have on offer at Phoenix Sixth Form. I don't know if there's any other um, questions. If you have any questions, please type them in the comments section. OK, I can see some more. Um, uh, apologies about the technical difficulties to start with the camera not being on in my face. Apologies, we did manage to fix it in the end. Uh, apologies about that. Uh, so yeah, just in terms of a few questions about the tours, um, how do we go about doing the tours? Uh, as I said, if you just contact Miss Hyatt directly, she'll book you in a time. Uh, that's for Thursday and Friday of this week. 
Oh, a really good question about the library. Um, how long does my child have to stay back? The library is open each day till half past four, and it's entirely up to you how long your child stays. What we often ask in year seven uh, is that if your child wants to stay at the library, either write a note in the planner or that they call you directly. Um, you know, we want to make sure that parents know where their children are, and it's really important that you have that communication with your child. Uh, what we don't want is you panicked and not knowing where they are. So we always say to students, if you're going to stay, you need permission from your parents to be able to stay. So 4.30 after school for students to do homework. We do have specific homework clubs uh, for students that are run by different departments. Uh, and again, that's for students to opt in to uh, those different homework clubs. Um, uh, just Oh, so uh, just a question about what will happen if you get a detention. Uh, if a child gets a detention, you will receive a text message informing you of the detention and it will also say how long your child's got. Um, the weekly progress picture will tell you in a bit more detail about the detention and, and, and what it is. So you'll be able to, to um, know about that. Uh, good question about how many classes are there in year seven? Uh, in terms of year seven, we have uh, four different tutor groups. So it's very similar to primary school. Most primary schools operate between two and three. We have four tutor groups in year seven. Um, and as I said, each tutor group has a form tutor uh, and you'll have a head of year um, and you will also uh, have a pastoral support officer who's there to support your child. Uh, how much are the lunches? Um, the lunches uh, are generally £2.25 a day. If you're free school meals, that's already automatically added on. That will be transferred when you start. Um, in September um, and the lunch offer is by an external catering company uh, called Kachina uh, who are a very professional uh, organisation. It's very different from when uh, was certainly when I went to school. Um, it, you know, it's a really professional organisation. They have a range of food available. As I said, it's hot meal, uh, a range of sort of generally two or three options on the hot meal, sandwiches, salad, uh, fruit, and there's quite a few options in terms of meal deals. Um, is your child allowed a phone? Uh, we say no, your child is not allowed a phone. If they bring it in, it's at their own risk. But we do know that parents need to contact children. So if you absolutely have to give your child a mobile phone, uh, then they need to switch it off and put it in their bag before they come into school. If you need to contact your child, it's an emergency. Please just contact the school office uh, and we will be able to uh, get a message to your child. Uh, how can you know your child is safe and well in school? Well, if your child is not in, we will call you first thing to let you know that they're not in school. Um, so if you don't receive a call, uh, your child is in school and being educated fine. If, if you're really anxious and you want to check, please drop an email to the, the head of year and they'll be able to tell you. Uh, what are the risks of getting attention? In terms of detention, um, it, it is a, for a range of things. As Mr. Lambo said, we have really high expectations of our students because we want the best for them. And we understand that having a knowledge rich curriculum and having a, a, an outstanding uh, enrichment offer is really important. But we also understand that we have to have high standards. We hold ourselves as professionals to high standards and we hold our students to high standards. And we want parents to be part of that learning process and support us with that. And um, we do have a pastoral system which you know, help students to understand why they may have been sanctioned. But generally, if students come here, work hard, are polite and engage, there wouldn't be a need for a sanction. Um, the uniform policy is included in your pack. Uh, in terms of the tours tomorrow, if you contact Miss Hyatt directly, she will let you know um, when the tours take place. Um, and that is, um, you know, then you'll be able to book a time that works for you and also works for us. As I said, we, we've, we've had quite a few requests already uh, and, and the number of slots available are becoming less and less. Uh, so please call Miss Hyatt and we'll try and uh, work something around to see if we can uh, arrange a time for you to come in. Um, obviously, we're still restricted by uh, current sort of COVID guidance, so we have to be really cautious about the number of people we have in. Um, so please try and uh, book that in as soon as possible. You're happy to email now. Miss Hyatt is still here. We're still here working. Um, uh, it, there's a few questions about detention for coming late. Yes, we do have a detention for coming late, um, but it is really important. Um, you know, if there's a valid reason for being late for school, we're happy to sort of explore that with you and, and, and understand the reasons for that. Um, a really, really good question. I think I might not have mentioned this, but in terms of bullying, the same as all behaviour, we have a zero tolerance on bullying. We take it really seriously and we have to take quite uh, strict action with it straight away. Uh, this is the whole point of having uh, a pastoral support manager and um, a head of year who are there to just support if there are any bullying incidents. That means that we are able to manage those um, 
straight away and intervene straight away. Uh, all of our staff have had training uh, in restorative justice and how to resolve these situations with students. Um, not only a sanction for the bully, but we also believe in restorative justice and we also know about the, the, the need to try and educate um, you know, the, the students involved to make sure this doesn't happen. Often the, the bullying incidents happen outside of school online. Um, I, we haven't had a bullying incident in school for at least a year now um, and the other incidents that have happened have all happened online. So I would say as parents it's really important you monitor your child's usage of the phone um, and social media, that's really important. Uh, we do educate students on that and uh, we do have a local police officer who comes into school to talk to students about the importance of being careful with what you post online. Uh, just checking the last few questions. Uh, there is a gym. Uh, we do use the um, the leisure centre, but we also have our own sports facility. So the leisure centre for swimming uh, and the gym are used during PE lessons uh, for students and they're used for after school uh, extracurricular, um, uh, extracurricular uh, opportunities for students. Uh, just in terms of stationary, yes, we do have a stationary list. It is really important um, that uh, your child brings a correct stationary to school because they will need that for their lessons. So please uh, check the uniform list, ensure that students are ready to learn. At the start of each day during lineup, we ask students to bring their pets case out to show their equipment, to show they are prepared to learn, um, and we are happy to support. With year sevens, we know it's a big change. So we take a really supportive approach first with year sevens to try and ensure they bring the correct equipment each day. And we will talk to you about that during our transition events. Um, oh, that's a really, really good question. How can you monitor your child's homework remotely? Um, one of the, the benefits of this recent period of time of remote lessons is that we've moved lots of our systems onto Microsoft Teams. So we now set homework via Microsoft Teams and in your weekly uh, pastoral update, the, the progress picture that you receive, it will outline the homeworks that have been set for your child and also when they're due. So you can actually monitor that yourself and they will physically write that in their planner. Um, question about break times. Yes, there is break. Um, break time, as I said, we have two periods, then we have a period of break time, uh, then you have tutor time, two more periods, then you have a period of lunch time. Um, and there are opportunity for students to take part in, in, in sports and, and programs that we have on offer during break and lunch time. Um, few questions about sports and provision. Yes, there are basketball, table tennis and football provisions available at lunchtime and break time for students. Um, OK, I think that's all the questions that have been posted. Uh, as I say, if there are some questions that you have or something you want to know, um, please book a tour, come and have a look around the school, see what it's like for yourself. Just actually experience the school day. When you come for a tour, you will see children in lessons being taught. You will see a normal day at the academy. Uh, and you know, we've just come back from uh, another period of lockdown, so students are straight back into learning, straight back into to, to lessons um, from the very first day. So that'd be a great opportunity for you to actually have a little look around and see what the school like. Um, if you have any other questions that you haven't had a chance to post today, as I say, you can ask me during a tour. Uh, if not, you're more than welcome to email in the questions. Uh, thank you very much for attending uh, and I really look forward to, to meeting uh, all of you uh, in the coming days uh, and in the coming months.